Imposition Layout 101. I'm going to try to use this project to introduce Corel Draw's incredibly powerful imposition layout tool. We're going to create the simplest of all imposition layouts. Let's think laser engraving, although there are uses for imposition layouts far beyond what we can do with a laser. But we would like to create an imposition layout that would take any size part in Corel Draw and slam it in the upper left hand corner of whatever our laser table is. We may have more than one laser. We'd like to use the same imposition layout to take any part, slam it in the upper left hand corner and allow us to engrave one or more. But in this case, let's start thinking just one. I have two layouts up in memory. The part over here is a 5 by 7 plaque. I would like to engrave one of these. Over here, I'm planning on doing a round to it, a one and a half inch wooden disc. This is page one, and let's look at page two. So I need to engrave one of those to give a round to it from Wintucket Engraving. So let's start over here. We have these ready to go. Now we're going to create the imposition layout. So I'm going to click on File, Print Preview. Many of you have seen previous tutorials that we have done on this. And instead of going to Print Preview, we went to the Print Dialog. I've kind of changed my mind, and I think this is the proper, more powerful place to create imposition layouts and to use imposition layouts. So here we are in Corel Raw X6 64 bit print preview. It has some tools along the side the pick tool, imposition layout tool. Marks placement and zoom, several things we can't do if we go to the print dialog and select only to edit imposition layout. But imposition layout is indeed what we need. So I'm going to click on the imposition layout tool. And as typical, CorelDRAW always assumes if our printer is larger than our page size that we want that in the center a very good guess if and especially if we're doing sublimation that is what we would normally want but we're thinking laser engraver now and what we really want is this one page in the upper left hand corner so i'm going to go to the edit basic settings pull down and tell it to edit margins and then i'm going to uncheck this one and guess what? That slams that part in the upper left hand corner. That becomes an extremely helpful imposition layout, one that everyone should have saved. Let's save that. How do we save it? I'm clicking on the plus sign beside the current imposition layout. Don't get confused. Above that is the print style. We'll not be covering that here. But we want to add or save an imposition layout to the imposition layouts that are available to us. So I'm going to click the plus sign there. And instead of full page, I'm going to put in what I normally put. And that's a tilde in front just to alphabetize it one by one upper left. And then we'll OK that. So we now have an imposition layout that will take any item and slam it in the top of this upper left hand corner. In this case, this is going to a laser engraver. I'm clicking on print options, which would allow me to change tables if I wanted to go to a different printer. But in this case, I'm going to tell it that I want it to go to the laser engraver, which has a 24 by 18. And I could set any preferences within that print driver. For instance, in this case, this plaque, we need raster only. This is wood. 
So I'm going to slow that down, maybe to 60% speed, and we'll okay that. We have all the options we need, but the key here is I no longer have to tell the print driver how large the page is, because the imposition layout handles that for us. So we'll okay that, and then we'll okay our printer preferences, and then we click print. Ah, but just before we do this, Let's show you what we have. I'm going to go back to base, Edit Basic Settings. Not that we need to change that, but only with the Edit Basic Settings does it give us the Template Document Preview. So I'm going to click on that, and you'll see what we're about to print. And now if we're ready to print, we click on our printer icon, and out to the laser goes that print job. Now. Uh, let's assume we have already done that. We'll cancel out of the print preview, and we'll jump over to this other document. Now we're working on one and a half by one and a half. We have wooden nickels, or wooden discs, let's call them, one and a half inch round. So we have created a page size of one and a half by one and a half, put a one and a half inch circle so we'd be sure that that would fit in it. Now we want just one of these, but it has two sides. Here's page one, and here's page two. So we're creating a round to it. We have two sides to that, so we'll go back to page one, and then we'll go to print preview. File, print preview, that slams that out here. Ah, but luckily we have saved. Our, well, first we go to the imposition layout, and then luckily we have saved one by one upper left. So when we click on that imposition layout, we now see that that slams that one and a half by one and a half, so we can put our one and a half inch wooden disc in the upper left hand corner. Ah! but we already have the default edit basic settings. Let's tell it to show us what we have. Yep, that's what we want. One of the advantages of approaching imposition layouts and using them from the print preview is that we do have the zoom tool here. So I'm going to click on the zoom tool and see exactly what I have up here. And that looks good. Uh, th then I'm going to switch over and see how page two looks. Not all, it, it depends on what your laser engraver will do. If most laser engravers, if, if we send this two page document, it will go over as two different jobs. If yours won't, then you don't know how to accomplish that, then send one page at a time. But in this case, I have page one and page two to where I get a real good look at what's going over there. And if I'm happy with that, then I'm ready to click on print. Or I can go to print options and then go into preferences and be sure I have combined my settings for raster. We want 60% on the raster portion of it, maybe 20% and your settings, of course, will be different depending on what laser you're using and what wattage you're using. But somewhere along in there would be the appropriate settings for both the raster and the vector in combined settings. And then we'll OK that. That doesn't send it to the printer. That just OKs the setup for that. And then if we're ready, we're going to click on our printer icon and we're done. But while we're here, let's go just a little further. Let's say we decide we really want round to it. Now we're beginning to see the real power of the imposition layout. Let's go back to our imposition layout and tell it maybe that we want two of those across. We decided we really would like to make two of those. So since we have edit basic settings, we'll see our document preview available. So there we're going to bump two one and a half inch disks up in the corner. We're going to laser them and then we're going to switch location and tell it to print again. So our first imposition 
layout video project is complete.